and we back again with another one. Come on. You know, um, uh, as you can see, we have returned with another one. I know it's been a minute. Like I said, you see, if you looked at the comment last video, I was telling you, I, is this going to come out when they come out? <laughs> it ain't like last year, sporadic, non dying type of content uploaded, you know? But, um, yeah, we got another one today. Um, Sukuna, return of the dog. <laughs> you know, um, ran it up all 2024, road to 10K. I appreciate you subscribe, watching the video. I appreciate it, especially if you stay to the end of the video. Much love to you. Um, I try and respond back to all comments this year, you know. Um, make sure you like the video as well. Cause I know I see those people who dislike, they're just gonna be haters forever. Ain't gonna make it nowhere. But the people who show love to everybody, I mean, y'all gonna make it somewhere. Wherever it, wherever it is you wanna be. At least that's what I believe personally. But um, yeah. All right. Seems to be they've been trying to get CJ the Champ on some copyright, cause he, he got stuff up here. The original video link will be down in the description below. Please support CJ the Champ as well. Um, uh, check out my other channels down below too. Uh, my social medias are also right here or whatever. And yeah, let's go. <clears throat> and after this, Sukuna grabs her phone and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The f is this Kuna <laughs> shit. <laughs> this shit my face. Yeah, nah, they dissing Sakuna on TikTok. They're a wild and fraud Kuna? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I'm almost done. I got two episodes the left. Shibuya Trials, round two. And ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making. And it starts now. Making his way no. to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of pure dog. This is a dog! Excuse me. I'm like 5'11", maybe 6 foot. <laughs> Only weigh like 153. <laughs> what do you mean, 180? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> a pure, I got muscle. He's a pure dog. <laughs> like, 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 that's what he is. I, I don't. That, that's what bro is, apparently. So, I mean, hey. Can't win them all. He is one of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth. And his ignorance oh my knows God. no God. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and it is now time for the return of the dog. So without further ado, <laughs> gotta kill my voice during that shit. Exhibit A. Warning: spoilers ahead for who? Ryomen Sukuna. I'm already caught up. This world dated all the way back to a thousand years ago. Once a human turned into the king of curses. He was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated in- I wanna be a dog. Until a 15 year old boy decided to deep throw one of his fingers and hit the dog off of the leash. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to exhibit A. The calm before the storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past. And I said I will yeah. finish this off after the Shibuya incident. And that oh, was man. Time. <laughs> um, but since we the Shibuya incident was a nightmare. Well, let's just say that. You seen that wasteland right there? <laughs> you would have thought it was a war going on up and down. We have a new ranking system. We need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this hoe. I need my controller too. 
Itador is being attacked by a curse. So his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty ass, disgusting ass finger. <laughs> bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one shotting a cursed spirit. But later on, yeah, now it's one finger. Upset. And sadly, whoops his ass. He fully <laughs> ass, bro, to be honest. Like, he, he literally sat on the nigga. And Sukuna takes a L. Next, Sukuna fights a cursed womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on his face, ripping off his arm, then proceeds to use Malevolent Shrine and shits kebabs the nigga. Actually, it's not Malevolent Shrine, it's Malevolent Kitchen. Can't you see he's a cook? He burns and cuts things. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the tidal wave, you know. Duh. Shortly after that, he decides to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping, if I have to say for myself. As he threw him, then proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire city. No. Aerial after aerial. How are you alive? Him through a fucking hotel. And finally, violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body as hostage. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost forgot. He made Mojito shit his pants. Bro touched his soul and said, Don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. Know your place, trash. <laughs> then damn near dropped him and put Bro on his knees no. and made him wallop in excruciating pain. And now we've caught up to the present. And with all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all oh, I yeah, you're done. Is, this man's final ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. We now move you on think? to October 31st, 2018. On the gruesome night of the Shibuya incident, we will now be observing these two dumbass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. What the fuck are you dumbass hoes doing? Like seriously, did you think this plan was not gonna go? <laughs> I don't know what they plan was. Spread down the hallway, like, what? Oh, and I can't stand him. Please. If Sukuna don't take him out, I need Gojo too. Somebody, please. They should let Toji handle, bro. Toji would have rocked him. Okay, let's be honest. It, it was a it, it was a three way war. If they were all free at the same time, I would have enjoyed that. Sukuna, Gojo, <laughs> and Toji. That would have been the litest battle they could have ever had in the show, hands down. Unless Yuto was there too, then it would have been up. I mean. <laughs> Come on. What the hell is going on? I'm just tripping. Wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my God, we're going to tell you. Yeah, back the fuck up, fuck face. So Jogo decides to just burn them, walk over to Ichidori's body, and pulls out 10 fingers. And he says, the streets say you're the throat goat, little nigga. So go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this is about to sound crazy, but Jogo shoves 10 <laughs> fingers <laughs> down this nigga's throat. Like, bruh, that shit is just nasty as fuck. Bruh, he didn't and this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But nah, somehow these girls survived. So Jogo's about to burn them again. But right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? You have 0 0.01 seconds to get your dirty ass hands off of me. Those men juggle bags up fast as fuck. Indeed, <laughs> is shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my god, oh my god, girl, oh my god. Then Jogo. Y'all did it to yourselves. Oh, Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells them, Hose and bastard, on your knees now. And they dropped to their knees fast as hell. While Bro threw an air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the It should have took Jogo's head off. I stand on it. Should have took his head off right off his shoulders. Again. Should have had to grow back another body. Watch y'all slide, bro. said, How low can you go? Can you go down low? Bro, I can't stand him. Stop playing. So then he asked the girls first, all right, what the fuck y'all want? And this little girl is having a panic attack. She crying and shit. She don't know what to say. And Sukuna in the background like, come on now, hurry up, ho, time's a wasting. So she ends up asking <laughs> him to save Ghetto from a certain person controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But you start seeing their backstory. Bro. Yeah, but people been snitching on TikTok. Hearing some emotional last Can't music stand that damn either. backstory playing in the background. But I'm Sukuna here. Says, yeah, I raise your heads. So they raised their heads. In fact, I got something to say about that. Stop snitching on the on, on the manga. Don't even put put G, JJK manga and put spoilers ahead for anime only, please. Before y'all just start running your mouth.
Cause, Cause maybe some of us don't wanna be spoiled. No, no, that's what your problem is. I, I wanna start moving, stop the spoiling, but it's not gonna work. Cause y'all gonna spoil anyway, cause it's fun. I don't blame you. I get it. Don't wrong, don't get it wrong. I get it. But hey, karma is a thing. Yeah. Just just know that. Oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus. Oh these hoes are stupid as shit. And the other girl screaming like, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> And this man sukin the like, my God, shut the fuck up. So she tried to hit him with her selfie power. She like, I'm about to put you on Twitter and cancel your ass. But bro just slices off her frontal lobe and she gets put in a blender. And after this, the <laughs> phone, and he started looking at it like, damn, they talking hella shit on my name. The fuck is this fraud Kuna shit? <laughs> Get this shit out my face. So then he turns That's into- That's wild. I know you're joking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Joe going to ask, I what you want? So Jogo says, well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap That's what I you. thought, you two. No ads. Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing over here. Come on. Come on. I know you want me. Come here. Come here, you two. Come on. I'm like, how are you getting past the ads? I didn't. The ads don't want me. Simple as that. You know? Huh? Well, you know, niggas have been calling you a fraud coon lately. <laughs> so Sokka ends up making a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jogo ends up accepting the fight, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Nigga, this was a generational ass whooping. Bro started beating the shit out of this nigga. He hit him with crazy combos. He said, off his fingers, then threw him across the city like a rat dog, then hammer fences his head through the fucking ground. They only been fighting for like 20 seconds and bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on crack Toa! and just starts flooding everything. Nah, literally just started He's got nuking the city. The city. like Crisis City right now and got Sukuna's ass tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. But bro busts out of it posing thinking he's Jesus. So Jogo hey, 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 if y'all seen the banner. Go look at the banner real quick. Go look at the go look at the banner real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Go look at the banner real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't say nothing, but go look at the banner. He's Jesus. So Joe goes like, where, where did he go? Go look at the banner, bro. Right? Comes from the side and pause, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Whoever animated this little Oh, I didn't pause them nigga for a reason. Cooked. So Bro slams him through the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass Bruh. like a bat. Bro, he was doing that devil man crybaby run. <laughs> that swing your arms like you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. And Joe goes just flying yeah, in the air thinking, tweaking. Oh my God, this nigga's not a fraud. Bump just paused oh, yeah. his face and just starts slamming him through oh, the it's skyscraper. Up. I mean. <laughs> God, nigga, this shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Teeth oh. missing and everything. Uh. This man Sukuna was talking hella shit. He that's, said, that's what I was doing when I was watching this. Uh. On you. It really shows how pussy you are. But then he ends up picking up his body and tells him, nigga, you ain't shit. Now I'm going to keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my God, I can't do this shit. Oh my God. So then Sukuna ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. So this man skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog while Joe goes chasing them with a meteor and meanwhile kusakabe and panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius well while they run and sukuna comes in and stops them and he got everybody shook so he said uh, until i say green light don't move green light Nah, this is just petty. Bro is really out here just playing with his food. So Jogo thinks he hit nah, him. Nah, for real. is just literally over in the corner sitting crisscross applesauce. You need to calm that down. Jesus, man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, aim labs is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Jogo. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen with this damn fire bow and started to have a high noon old western standoff. And what's funny about this, they don't even show the shot. This instantly goes into Jogo's head and he's talking to his dead friends like, guys, I'm sorry. 
the allegation is worth false. Hey, Chongo, I'm going to tell you this now. This is, you should have went ahead and just said, Lord Sakuna. And just gave up right there. Right there. Gave up right there. That's what I would have did. <laughs> it's already over, buddy. <laughs> you seeing your dead allies. Like Hinami. Or whatever her name was. She got clapped, literally. Splattered against the wall. Looked like a canvas. Oh. So then Sukuna's just looking at him from the back and he tells him, Stand yeah, proud. You are nigga. <laughs> He acknowledged me. Uh. One eyeball with him, boy. Like Cyclops looking burning. Ever, bro. bro really got thrown like a rag doll and beaten to a pulp in his last like five minutes of life. This shit. This shit. Yeah, you try. Oh, I, don't, I forgot he got collapsed. Exhibit A wrap up. Murder. But something tells me he's not dead. Attempted murder. Invasion of privacy. Attempted murder. Oh yeah, murder. Man, that's that's murder. About two million murder. years. Mass property damage. What about the? Oh, here comes the genocide. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for Exhibit B, and what might be the most outrageous Exhibit B I've ever done? Collateral damage. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. It is now time to observe the oh, fight no. with Maharaga and how Sukuna once again. Before he even gets started with Maharaga, monster, demon, he's the true curse. <laughs> with this treasure I summon. This is my last. Talking about. I seen that thing appear. <laughs> Chain hung, whatever. I don't. <sighs> I don't care. Talking about. Decided to play with his food. So they start fighting, and Sukun is already popping off on his ass, cutting him up and everything. But then they go flying. And this motherfucker walks out drinking a diet coke and just chopping on some popcorn. But bro is disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels. And he just eating the popcorn like, oh, lad, this is disgusting. No salt, no butter for $15? Ugh, must be from AMC. The boy is mad as hell and just continues to bully my boy. Yeah. Bro's cutting him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. And look at the JoJo reference. These boys is cooking. Then after Sukuna wins, no, for real. he wraps Bro up and throws him into another building. So as we can see, Sukuna, Sukuna he's not done. Things. Like Bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. Cause oh my god! Oh man! You know what? Pause this video right now. <laughs> Genocide. And don't get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone. Cause we about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. We you just gonna try to hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Go get a calculator." That's what I did. Calculator. Let's go. Tally up the death. Tally up how many people die in this fight. Starting off, boom, they go flying into this room. Let's get the count. Oh man, One, now, two, let's go back. Three, four, five, uh -huh, six, uh -huh. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They All right, that's twelve. Y'all get sliced up, and Sukuna just blows up the room. That's twelve. <laughs> already dead. Blood stains everywhere, and he's put Maharaga on his ass. You're already bucking. I mean, Sukuna's just fucking around this entire fight. This nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerials, then grabs a crane, turns into Tarzan, and drop kicks him. And with that sing. All right, see, with that right there, he already said twelve. By my account, that's that's a lot of square feet right there. Could have been construction workers, just homeless people living in there. Let's just say it's about 19 plus 10 construction workers. We got 29 plus that 12. We pushing 41 dead people already. 
and they just started fighting. <laughs> the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this. It's a literal car avalanche going on right oh, now. Oh, man. Look at all these people in the frame. I count 14 what? people in this frame, and that is a poor, innocent little girl hanging on to her mother. And you know damn well they ain't make it out that. Add 14. Next. The whole building is falling down. Add 14. And these people hanging off for their life. This nigga's Man, we at 55. And he falls off. And I estimate there is at least 25 people on that roof. Oh, and no. You know 25. That. I'm counting then 30. This is where this starts to get really old. That's so Alright, gets Sukuna with a train and throws him all the way oh. to this building. And while he's on his ass, oh, that train Sukuna had folk on it. Up and splits the entire building in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Oh and yeah. Split this entire row of buildings. That's about 200 and people in that mall. And this bro, is where bro, we nah, start to see the on a full scale. Mako is a little bit He cut it into pieces. 285. They're just chopping stuff up, turning stuff into cubes. While sitting on a traffic light and just started making Yo, debris. What is our problem? While he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this, bro. Did this oh is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? Ooh, I know Boeing is having a fit right now. <laughs> That's what I think it is. A Boeing 737, and it was at full capacity. capacity. That's about 200 bodies, bro. Okay, Boeing. yep. Two plus another 200. We have 485. <laughs> We have both and the entire 85. city is being sliced up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Bro's finally done playing with his food again. So he ends up activating Malevolent Shroud. Oh and before my. he even shoots, you just look at all these people, bro. Dude, just about dude, to have a grueling fate. The poor girls in here like, oh my god, girl, what is all that noise? Ugh, I don't know. Let me check Twitter. Oh my god, girl, they dropped the GTA 6 trailer. Yes, oh, I react bitch. to that, by the way. You know, you should go check it out. You know what I'm saying? If you want, you don't have to be honest. But sadly, these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. Sukuna Ooh. uses malevolent shrine and just washes out Haraga. Everything just gets obliterated. Y'all seen that splatter of blood, right? He should be gone, evaporated, gone, out of existence. Everything chopped up, nothing left. If anybody in a 200 meter radius were just Minutes 140 meters, and this by the way, smiling like, oh yes. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's 10,000. 10,000 folks. And then Sukuna finally finishes Maharaga off. Bro hit him with that. And wipes this fucking place. Bro. Traumatic <laughs> finish. So after Sukuna just made a crater and caught shit, I don't know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya We're crossing. So I don't know, man. nigga. I'ma just say a thousand bodies, bro. Exactly. Then after a thousand, this, two thousand. You know, it's all the same he number. Like, He's pushing a thousand four hundred eighty-five yeah. bodies. And just get split. Fourteen eighty-five. <laughs> oh my bad. Fourteen eighty-six. Counting that guy. I, I couldn't wait for him to get clapped. So. The you know. main antagonist. You know after this, Sukuna continues to be petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. He got clapped. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah, this'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. And swaps back out with Yuji and just traumatizes the kid. The <laughs> that's a, that's a body right there. Breakdown. He just killed part of him. he's just laughing inside of his I'm head. I'm gonna say 1487. Like, Play that good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that guys. And with that, Jesus, man, tally up the damn score. See, I was counting off screen kills, too. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the Shibuya trials. And since y'all showed in the video, I had to come well, back. Let's see and get more wild. Video, so. Hey, thank y'all so much, bro. And until we meet again in like, I don't know, two weeks. Yeah, peace, shit, brother. Stay frosty, nigga. Sheesh. Was he a monster? <laughs> yeah. Um. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, don't don't go to Shibuya Crossing in 2018, October 31st. You know what I'm saying? You seen what happened? It was a war zone. Hey. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um. Much love. Uh, like, subscribe if you made it to the end. Appreciate you. Um. Peace. Rip out his spine! I'll kill him! I'll kill him!